And now I'm going to hand it over to Steve. Steve, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is, again, my name is Steve Lavoie. I'm the senior librarian at the Oakland Public Library, one of the senior librarians at the Oakland Public Library. And um, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the services we provide uh, here. Um, and um, it, please ask questions. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of our new website. So if you hang on for a second, I'm going to share my screen um, and try to get going on this. It's it, uh, it's not it's going to take a second to get to fill the screen. So be patient. Okay. So what you're looking at, uh, I hope you're seeing it. Um, uh, are, did you guys see a big picture that says your library with the picture of the main library, the Oakland Public Library? Yeah, we can see it. Good, thank you. Um, so th uh, this is the main library, the picture of the Oakland Main Library, but we. Uh, this is not the only, this is really kind of a, it's only part of our system. We have uh, We have a total of 16 branches. Uh, scattered all over the city. Um, the furthest north is uh, the Temescal or the Rockridge branch, and we go all the way down to the east, to the deep east, to uh, Elmhurst on 88th Avenue. Um, we also have a tool lending library that people can borrow tools from. If you're a resident of Oakland, Emeryville, or Piedmont, which is officially our service area, you can set up to borrow tools from our tool lending library. Unfortunately, the, we don't really have any way of managing our tools except by going there. So you have to actually physically go to pick up your tools and turn them into the tool lending library. It's situated at the 51st, uh, at the, uh, the Temescal Branch Library in the back, um, at, at, which is situated at 52nd and Telegraph. Um, the Oakland Public Library is the old, second oldest uh, public library in the state of California. Um, and it, there is a one of the great trivia questions um, when this comes up is, uh, can anyone name the, the first public library in the state of California? And it won't be what you think, but if you come back, maybe I'll, uh, if you remind me at the end, I can, uh, I can answer the trivia question. We have, um, we officially serve, uh, the cities of Oakland, Piedmont, and Emeryville as their public libraries too, besides Oakland's. Um, it, 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 but we also, we're part of the network, the state network. And so anybody in the state of California can get a library card and, and, and do uh, receive most of the services that we would receive, you would normally receive from a public library. Uh, there are some exceptions like the tools. Um, the, uh, oh, I guess that, uh, so, the, uh, anybody, so anybody in California can get a library card. So if you, and to, to get a library card, we now have a way of registering online. Um, so you can, uh, before you come in, you can come and then you can just pick up your, your, uh, your physical card. Um, you also don't even need a physical card anymore at this point, because we have a new system that I'm not all that to, um, together on. I don't know if I want to show you how to do that, but um, maybe with the, for, uh, when we go to the website, I can show you how to get there. Um, they uh, So that you can carry around your library card. Instead of having a plastic physical card, you can have a, uh, a barcode on your phone or on your smartphone on your or your tablet or your device, and then just bring that into the library. Um, we're trying to get up to the 20 up to speed with the 21st century. Um, these the images that you see, uh, we don't necessarily have all of these, but these the, uh, these are the result of a design a library card contest that we had um, for the youngsters in Oakland, and these were the winners. So uh, and our Golden State Warriors library card is no longer available, and I, nor is our Fairyland card. But we like the design so much we keep it in the in the PowerPoint. Um, so the, the, the branch libraries, like I said, we had six, we have 16 of them. Um, they're, um, they go, the, 
the furthest east, southeast, actually, is the uh, Elmhurst branch. So that we have a, a, a newest, our most recent branch is uh, at 81st Avenue in um, Rudsdale, which is down in, in the uh, Elmhurst, the East Oakland. Um, it's connected to a school. Um, the main library, of course, downtown. We have a uh, we have a library at the Cesar Chavez branch. The Cesar Chavez branch is situated at the, at the Fruitvale Bart Station Village. Um, we have a uh, we have a our Asian branch is uh, the oh, the Chavez branch has a significant um, a percentage of our Spanish language materials. Um, it, it is uh, sort of focused on the Spanish speaking community. Um, it used to be known as the Latin American Library until the uh, the the uh, the opportunity came to uh, name it after Cesar Chavez on the anniversary of a famous visit he made to Oakland to meet our to meet our mayor. Um, and the, the Asian branch has uh, significant has pretty much all of our Asian languages. Collections. We have collections in uh, Chinese languages, Filipino, T Tagalog, uh, Korean, uh, Japanese. Um, so, and at the public library, you can, for physical materials, you can check out books, movies on DVDs. Also, uh, we have streaming movies, and I'll show you how to uh, where those come from. Uh, we have music on CD. We have a small amount of vinyl that was left over from the olden days, 33 and a third long playing LP records. Um, that, and that's housed in the main library. Um, and we also have some video games that we can circulate. Uh, they're very popular, obviously, with the teens and the youngsters. And um, pretty much for them, you need to place them on hold. Um, we also lend toys. We have a collection of toys that we lend to uh, for, uh, for kids six and under, to young mothers and their caretakers. Um, we have uh, we have a seed library. We have a couple of seed libraries where you can swap, share, and swap seeds. Um, and like again, tools from the tool lending library. And we have we are we are currently lending uh, internet hotspots, which are small devices. Um, that allow you to connect to the inter uh, they're portable devices that allow you to connect to the internet and connect your devices to the internet. Um, we have those to check out to anyone who has a library card and they, we keep them for three weeks. We also have some laptop Chromebook laptops, which is a, a, a platform um, a Google uh, operation um, platform that we lend in small, we have a small number of those. Um, they, and they're lended at, we lend them at uh, some libraries. West Oakland, the, um, in the main have them, 81st Avenue has some, uh, Chavez has some, uh, Melrose has some. So uh, if you ever need a computer, call us up and we can maybe help you out with one. Um, we also have computer ses uh, computer labs, or you can access the, we have public, access internet computers at all of the branches. We have a fairly large laboratory that's well, that's staffed along with the rest of the library at the main branch. Um, we also have labs at the Golden Gate branch, which is up near Emeryville, uh, north, on the north side of town. And um, Diamond has some computers. And the Melrose branch has a standalone lab, too. The Melrose branch is, opposite, is on Foothill Boulevard opposite uh, Fremont High School. Um, uh, during, um, uh, let me go back, oops, now I'm screwing up. Uh, the computer labs, uh, we do have uh, times too when people are here who volunteers will come and help it, to d help you work with your computers and help develop some computer skills. So make sure you check and see if you need any help. They, 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 they go from their one-on-one -on -one sessions. So they go from the very beginning 
uh, that helping from the very beginning, like getting an email address or logging into the computer, or learning the basics of Word. They're um, and they're 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 here quite often. Um, I know that Wednesdays and Saturdays and uh, they're here or there are some other hours too. So feel free to call if you need, if you would like to have somebody come and help you. And you, the computers, you, uh, the main library, for example, you can use the, the you can uh, sign up, you can log into the computers for an hour. Uh, there are computers that you can register for in advance and make appointments, but you don't need to necessarily. And um, but if you want, if you have a project that you need to have more time on and, and we have a tutor here, you can come in with the tutor and get the tutor to help you work on your project however long you need. Uh, we, uh, we'll make arrangements to help you with that. Um, we also have a lot of databases. I'll get to those in a minute after I uh, after we go to the uh, website for a second. And I know, I'm not quite sure how uh, how uh, uh, computer literate everyone is, but since I'm pushing s the senior citizen phase in my life, um, I have fairly good computer skills, and I and I I don't uh, I'm hopeful and. Uh, I trust that many of people of my age are also f fairly capable with computers, and I know you guys are on a Zoom. On a Zoom, so um, please, if if you can, please access our online resources because there we have a lot of them. They're very useful and very interesting. And I know sometimes it gets frustrating to be sitting in front of a computer screen all the time. But when it, since you can watch movies and listen to audio books. Um, using your devices for free with the library, um, I think it's I think it's something you might want to get in the habit of doing. Um, we also have some online resources that are that are unique uh, in, to some degree. We have a bunch of magazines online, and I'll show you more of those. But we also um, contribute to the the state of California, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm not quite sure what they're calling it these days, but it's a it's a database filled with historic resources from collections all over the country, all over the state, and including our Oakland History Center and our African American Museum and Library. Um, and it's it's really fun to 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 go into. Um, at maybe at some point we can have I, I can get the Oakland History Center or the African American Museum and Library to do a different presentation to uh, explore their collections because I think that would be interesting to everyone. Um, the African American Museum and Library uh, is uh, its resources are non-circulating. They're situated at uh, at the at the original. Well, it's not really the original, but it's the it's the original Carnegie main library that it, it's at the corner of uh, 14th and Martin Luther King it used to be the main branch. Um, it was seriously damaged in the 1989 earthquake. Um, and at, after after the earthquake, it was restored using FEMA money and other, other and a bunch of other city money and uh, restored to become the African American Museum and Library. Um, and it's got a fabulous collection of stuff. And um, again, I'll see if I can try to get them to one point. Maybe we can do another presentation about our historic collections. Um, the, the, w right now, we're still not having allowing. Uh, well, we have a few, um, like we had a blood drive, uh, things like that. But we w w w until we're. <laughs> Until we're entirely, until we're entirely uh, over the pandemic and uh, and and no longer afraid that we're going to infect people, we're not having any in-house in events at the public libraries at this point. But we're doing some virtual stuff, uh, online things like this, and um, uh, uh, I'll show you how you can look for those. the The picture that you're looking at is the is the I don't know if you remember the uh, solar eclipse. We handed out glasses to the to people to look at the solar eclipse, which was turned out to be kind of a bust because it was overcast. That was a, I think it was 2016 or 2017. Um, 
but it, uh, we did as you see we got a lot of people down at the library to, to be part of the viewing party um that was a that was a, a fun event but um so keep just keep looking out for when we're going to reopen and to have and have public events because we really do like to have in people come into our buildings for them um and we have a growing and ex we have an extensive and growing teens uh, teen library uh, um, service. We have something up in the main library that we call the teen zone. All the branches have teen uh, teen sections of various sizes, um, and they have uh, a lot of a lot of activities and video games and things like that that are significant. They're specific to the. Um, uh, the teens um, and it's been it's continues to grow and one of the one of the, the fabulous things that they do every year is uh, appoint a teen poet laureate um, and that's always very exciting because we get a lot of uh, young people writing poetry submitting them to the contest um, and we also have uh, uh, significant children's activities. So if anybody has grandkids, great grandkids, and uh, make sure you can you keep the library in mind because we do have story times um, and other things. Right now we're not doing in again we're not doing in-house stuff for the story times, but we will start doing it in this very soon. Uh, well, if this we can get this pandemic get through this pandemic. We also have a very successful and very energetic uh, summer reading program, not only for kids, but for all ages, including adults. And they have wonderful prizes and activities that go on all summer uh, when the kids are out of school and um, to promote literacy and reading and to try to get books in the hands of families and it's it's uh it's it's very important and uh, very popular program. We also um, for people who are having difficult who've had difficulty reading who have, or have never learned to read, uh, we have a literacy program. We call it Second Start, and um, and then in the slide you'll see Books for Wider Horizons. Books for Wider Horizons is the, we we partner with. Uh, that's an. They try to get books and uh, book reading into into family home into homes with family with with kids, and the second start program is to help people learn how to read or improve their reading skills. Um, it's also it's a very important program. Um, we also have we create we keep a uh, website of an Instagram site actually that that uh, to promote job openings. So if anybody has any job openings or uh, send them our way and we'll put them out there. It gets a lot of, it's it, it's been very much appreciated. Um, it, it, coordinating it uh, along when we were pre-pandemic, we opened it up to, uh, it was, it, it complemented uh, some intermittent job fairs that we had at the uh, at the main library, uh, mostly designed for teens, for young people to uh, entering their careers, but there were other job opportunities too. We'll probably start that up again. I hope so. Once we uh, let people back in the buildings, so um, the Oakland the library is also a very good place to for for uh, to connect with uh, some of the public service agencies that are a little, get a little bit complicated to get connected to, or you don't necessarily know. Uh, who or where to contact if you have sort of an issue to deal with. So please call us and we can help you with that. We're, we've also had some, and we intend to resume this once we get back on the, on the full service to have, uh, you have our facilities available to other social service providers who can come in and meet with their customers or their clients um, here at the, May, at, at the library or do some outreach during uh, particular times. Um, uh, that's included, like the the tenants union has done it. Some of the vets administration, um, other groups that are providing services to the public. So, um, and then you can see us often uh, out in the community because we uh, we send uh, we do join up in the public. We, we do come out to street fairs. Uh, 
and we're available to come to your location. We can bring librarians and bring books and reading and stuff like that. And up in the picture, a picture you'll see up in the upper left-hand corner, that that woman is named Mana. It's Mana Tomanaga. She's she's our uh, my boss, and she she's brought her the, our bike library down to the. It looks like down to City Hall for the Franco Gallo Plaza for some kind of event, along with another one of our uh, library aides who helps with our bike program. We have a bike program out in East Oakland at 81st Avenue. Um, and so if, and these are pictures of our noble staff. That's our supervising librarian, Janera Burton. Uh, Sharon McKellar runs our teen services. And uh, Laura Liang runs our children's, uh, runs our main library children's services. This, this is our contact information. Um, if you have questions to please call us at 510-238-3134. If you have reference questions, you can send us an email at eanswers at oaklandlibrary.org. And if you have questions about events or uh, you want to participate in an event, you can contact us at engagement at oaklandlibrary.org. That's also to, um, if you want somebody to come out, if you want to have a book, a book group set up or something like that. One of the things that we tried to do uh, that we did get funding for, um, I set up a senior, uh, a uh, large type reading group at the uh, North Oakland Senior Center. And uh, it, it, it was very popular, of course, until the, um, the pandemic kind of kept people out of the senior centers. But if if you if you're interested in doing something like that, anything like that uh, at any of in, anywhere in the city, uh, let us know and we can help facilitate it because that's we're we're very excited about doing that kind of stuff. So, and I I think this ends my um, PowerPoint. But I, if I uh, if so, I can pause for a couple sections uh, seconds here minutes here because I'm going to go through also next. I'm going to go through the. Um, our, our new website and just kind of show you what we have, of, uh, 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 things that are coming and, and what we have available electronically and stuff. Thanks, so, I do have a quick question. Yes. Um, and this might actually be answered in the next part, but what's the best way to stay connected and learn about events that the library has coming up? Um, I'm gonna go there in a second. Cool. So, uh, So this is. Uh, do you see my? Do you see a website that says "Welcome to our new website"? No, I still see the PowerPoint. Okay. So now. And again, I'd like to remember our um, audience members. If you have a question, there's a question and answer box at the bottom of your screen. Sometimes you have to tap the screen or wiggle your mouse for the controls to come up. Um, and then um, we also, you can raise your hand and I can unmute you um, if you'd like to ask your question. And you find your hand, um, the raise hand by doing the same thing, getting your controls to come up by either tapping the screen or wiggling your mouse. Um, so that way you can see it pop up. Okay. And we, it looks like we do have a question. Is it okay if we take a question real quick? Absolutely. Vicki, what's your question? You're gonna go ahead and unmute yourself. And Hi, Vicki. Vicki, you should be able to talk. We're not hearing you though, if you are. Um, so Vicki, I'm, you're not muted, but I can see that your the sound on your microphone isn't moving. So we can't quite hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I just, I just learned the other night how to go into that microphone and check that little arrow going up and there you go. Something so you can be heard. Uh, so my question was, is this? something that I'll have to access by wanting to know something about the library 
or is it something that pops up occasionally? Will it be something that pops up occasionally to give information? Uh, my, my senior centers give me newsletter notifications. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 would you like that? Because we can yes. get, um, because there are, um, we do send notifications in an email and you can get you can get notifications. We also have a way of uh, getting your um, um, uh, sending texts. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> How were you on the email idea? Did you like the email idea? Yeah, that's why I brought up emails because I still have a I have a flip phone and I uh, yeah tell I understand. People, okay. <laughs> I understand. Um, and, then, and then the other issue was the uh, availability of staff um, to come to events. Yeah. Um, again, if you, you mean to host events at the library? Oh, maybe I mean, just to be at, one at, of, at your facility or, at, or maybe or, to do maybe to do a little video, um, virtual video announcement at the Martin Luther King rally uh, event on January the seventeenth, twenty two. If we could have oh. a video gram and then maybe something with Martin Luther King or some, something, something to, to do maybe some kind of presentation at the, the Martin Luther King thing. Yeah, that would be yes. that, that'd be something we could do. Did you okay. get your uh, the best thing to do with that would be to email that, that engagement uh, number uh, um, email address that I gave you the engagement at Oakland Library dot org. Engagement was the, the key word. Yeah, enga library. engagement is the email address. Engagement at OaklandLibrary.org. That's okay. the uh, that's the um, email that we use for people who are proposing events or would like to invite us to events or uh, etc. So, okay. Thank you. Thank um, you. The so I'm so that's kind of a it's kind of a it, it, the question that you asked about uh, about getting a um, connection. Uh, if you see, I'm going. If you see my screens, you see me going back between two websites. Yeah. So, th the one that has this, that has the Oakland History Online, has the logo up on top. Uh, that's our old website. This is being. Um, this will become obsolete at the end of the month. Mm. At the, at the end of the month, we're gonna we're going to our new website, uh, and this is the new website. So, uh, but her question was to how to get connected. So I'm going to go to the old website and if I, uh, um, or the current website. And if I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And if you see, uh, all, if you go to all the way to the bottom, you can, you'll see a bunch of things that are links. These are all links to various things that you can do. It, like we have remote printing, you can get you can get stuff printed at the brand at the you can pick up stuff that you send to the our printers and pick it up at the library after by sending it. You can also come in and use our printer or computers. But if you see under connect, this has links to all of our social media accounts. Um, the 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 uh, the Facebook account is the most comprehensive. It has the most readers, viewers. But then you'll see the uh, our e news. Subscribe to our e news. If if you do that, you can. If you subscribe to our e news, go to that link. It'll take you here. Um, and then you can put in your email addresses and everything that you're interested in, and uh, submit it. And it'll uh, you'll get. Uh, you can make it pop up as an email when it comes out. Um, so, and see, it took us to the new site too, by the way. You, not that you knew that. Um, so um, let me see what I should do here. Uh, anyway, so the, so this is the this is the current um, this is the current website, um, and I, I I think it's you got what you needed to see, which is down below. You got the if you go to the way bottom, you can see all the stuff that we have offered. These will take you to the descriptions of everything that's offered here. Um, and then if you want to search books, 
you can search books up here in the little arrow where it says search our catalog right up at top. It'll take you to the online services. Um, and this, uh, uh, this is what it looks like now. Uh, we also have a service called Link Plus, which allows you to get books and other resources from uh, other libraries in, in, um, throughout the state of California and Nevada uh, without having to do an interlibrary loan request. Some of you may remember uh, interlibrary loan. We still do interlibrary loan. Um, it's now done by email. Um, but we but this link plus system connects to the directly to the catalogs of other libraries who, who will lend uh, uh, through our link plus system, which is a service that runs throughout the state, picks up books from one brand, one library and takes them to the next library. Um, it's a very, very interesting uh, to, um, logistically. So um, there are couriers that drive all over the libraries that connect all the libraries in the state um, that we use to bring our books and stuff. Um, but because it's coming and we're trying to, oh, the other thing that we have that you should keep in mind, um, and you can get to this on, on our online services page, is the, uh, the Discover and Go, which allows you to get free museum, free and low cost museum uh, admissions to uh, a bunch of institutions in the Bay Area with uh, all you need is your library card. Um, so this is something that I strongly encourage people because it's, it, 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 you know, it really saves you a lot of money. Uh, the, 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 um, the, the dates are not specific to necessarily to the times you want to go, but they do, uh, you will be able to find uh, w when they are available by going online to, to look for your, to, to try to schedule something at these museums. Um, we also have a, a book me service, which allows an, uh, um, an e, it's, we also call it e-answers. There's two things, book me and e-answers, uh, which you can answer, ask questions specific to um, just about anything uh, through an email thing. And you can also do a book me, which uh, uh, a librarian will help you uh, create a reading list of material that you might want to read. Uh, to do a fairly extensive uh, um, reference work for you too. So then I'm going to take you from, uh, this is the, again, this is the, uh, the current website. I'm going to take you to the new website just because it's, uh, it's coming up and you'll, and you'll be using it in the future beginning in the 1st of November. So um, again, up on top, it has, this is where you can find out if we have something in our catalog. It's right, it's very prominent up on the top of the, the, the website. Um, but it's got these links to like, for example, use your library. So this tells you, it gives you, it has a welcome thing and it has all these, the, uh, has links to various things. Um, and it has the, the visit, it has the local, the lo locations and the hours. This has borrowing information, it has computer information, and it has uh, stay in touch. And here, uh, the, you can also subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, and this is where you really appreciate this, which is the get, a, suggest a purchase. We really uh, lo love to have people suggest that we buy things because that really helps us make, have a, have a uh, collection that is relevant to our community. Um, and un, under that too, you can also get text notifications. These will send notifications as in the form of text on your smartphone to tell you when your books, when holds are ready to pick up, when books are overdue and maybe should be returned. It's, it's helpful for that kind of thing. And so you don't have to rely on your email. Most of our notifications for um, books that are on hold that you, when they come in, get sent by email. Um, in this, if you, if you sign up for our text notifications, then you will get them on, as text on your phone. Um, if you go to read, listen, watch, I, I was telling you, I was gonna tell you more about what we have available electronically. If you see that they're calling it the e-library, 
Um, it has it, it, there underneath it says ebooks, audiobooks, streaming music. Streaming music means you can go to your computer, you can go th through our catalog and get uh, music to listen to directly from our uh, 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 th uh, through your with your library card. We also have digital magazines where you can look at the whole magazine, um, uh, um, full text, the whole thing. I'm going to go there and just to show you if it if it comes up. Um, so, oh yeah, okay. It, it's it's different now. The, um, I'm sorry. They, we used to have a service so you could read them on the screen, but now what you um, so this this is a good uh, introduction to our eBooks. Most of our many of our e our eBooks, which are books that are obviously online or I mean electronically that you read electronically are provided through a service called Overdrive. And what you would like to do uh, if you want to access our these resources is to download the Libby app on your smartphone or on your Apple device. Um, it it's, makes it very easy. We also, and you can call any branch and to talk to, um, and to talk, um, you call any branch library and they can help you uh, download the Libby app and get uh, up and running in, in uh, Overdrive. You can also make appointments to have eBooks help if you're, if you're uncomfortable. The, uh, the, it is fairly easy if you follow the instructions and I'm gonna go back to the eBook instructions and it has fairly good instructions on how to utilize your ebooks um, it each one of these links has a it shows you a different sort resource that provides ebooks and if you click on one of these it'll take you to the it'll take you to each one to show you how to use it they're all they they vary in terms of complications um, but I, it's valuable to spend a little bit of time here to learn how to do this because uh, they're, they're, the instructions are very clear, very accurate, and there's lots of good stuff here. So uh, I strongly encourage you to go there and do that. Um, the other thing that you can do is we have streaming movies and TV series. Um, the most popular one is called Canopy. Um, we also have one called Hoopla. Uh, a, a Hoopla has it, uh, all the movies, well, not all, but it, it, it's material that is uh, handled through the Sony Entertainment System, which is, they owned, a, they bought a bunch of uh, Hollywood studios. They have a whole bunch of uh, movies that they've digitized that you can access through the Hoopla service. And then there's some movies also in our overdrive, which, which like I said, is best used through a, 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 uh, an app called Libby. But I strongly suggest, I think it, I, I, I would really encourage people to come and look and see what we have in our electronic resources, because it's really cool to be able to watch movies through the library and listen to music and and all that stuff and the magazines um, that are available through the Libby app you, you'll be able to scroll through the magazine as uh, all the way through so that you see the whole page um, just that it's on your obviously on your computer or on your on your uh, uh, device rather than on in paper and it also has some comics and graphic novels etc so um, and then uh, for the chill, for the kids, the, uh, uh, you can go to our uh, here and get our online story times. Right now, we don't have any in-house story times, but if you and that's in Grow and Play, you'll see the links there. Um, and then if you go see and do, uh, you'll see that it has our events listed. It has some access to some games, some ESL clubs, and some uh, Oakland history and meet the author events. Um, we're still developing these. So uh, 
there, there's not a lot of content right now, but uh, we're we're rapidly enhancing our resources electronically. Um, and then you'll see uh, the the make and fix. You'll see our tool lending library, a link to our tool lending library, to our bikes program. We have some cooking uh, blog, uh, some librarians who are doing some cooking blogs, and um, we're doing seed lending. So, um, and then we also have the, uh, where are we here? Um, no, I guess, anyway, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, on our, oh, we, we have auto repair manuals that are available online. We have also have some in our collections, but the for older books. Um, then there's a oh dear. There's a uh, we we did a podcast that you might want to look into. Um, it's got uh, it, it's it's a mini series that took place last fall. Um, it has a lot to do with Oakland history, and but it's interesting. So you should you might want to check that out. Um, and then we have a lot of family history and genealogy resources. Uh, we can also refer you to very comprehensive. There's a very comprehensive genealogical uh, service up at the Mormon Temple, and also at the California Genealogical Society, which is located in Oakland. But uh, Feel free to come and, and see what we have here if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And we also have access, uh, if you come to the Oakland Public Library, you can have, uh, there's full text access to most of the Oakland Tribune. Um, there are some gaps, some significant gaps, but there but there's a lot of it is available electronically on our computers at the library and they can help you with that. So um, I'm wondering is if there are any other questions. If there are any questions, we're getting down to the end here. Um, we do. We have a question in the chat. All right. Um, and then we also have a question from Adrian. Um, Adrian, I just unmuted you. Um, and so when you unmute yourself, or I gave you permission to talk, and then you can unmute yourself. Right, right. Um, I just wanted, I'm, I'm curious about volunteering for the literacy program. Um, how would one go about doing that? Call them. Let's see. Uh, if, if you want to volunteer in general, uh, since you asked the question, I'll do, I'll do that. If you want to volunteer in general, if you go to the bottom of the, the library's current website, uh -huh. You'll see volunteer, and you can uh, you can fill out you can read about the volunteers. If you want to volunteer for the for the literacy program, um, uh, we should call them directly. Um, and let's see, hold on, where is their phone number? Uh, two three eight three four three two. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And then we have a question from Ann Evelyn. Hi, Ann. Go ahead and take yourself off the of mute. Okay. I was wondering if I have a, a, a library, like I live in Alameda, I have a li library card, Alameda library card. Uh -huh. Could I use that card to access books at Oakland Public? No, but you can get an Oakland library card. Uh, oh, oh, I can get an Oakland library card. Yeah, anybody in the state of California can get a library card. From the, anybody with a California address can get a mm -hmm. library card in the, at the Oakland Public Library and use our resources well, most of them. The, uh, the, we we do limit tools lending to to local people just because mm -hmm. we don't want to take them the tools out of too far away. Um, but yeah, you can just get an Oakland Library card. Um, it, would that be true of of other uh, districts? For instance, I have a friend in 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 Santa Rosa who, yeah. who would like to who would like to get a book out of the Oakland Public Library, and I I told her I really didn't know how she could do that. 
she can get it well with it in Sonoma County. The books, if, if it's something that you can borrow, uh, uh, you, you can, uh, uh, a lot of our resources, some of our resources you can't check out at all. Mm -hmm. but, but Santa Rosa, Sonoma County is part of the Link Plus system. Yes. So if there's something in the Elkham Public Library that they want to borrow, she could borrow it directly through her library in Santa Rosa. Ah, uh -huh, wonderful. So all she, has to, all she has to do is to go to the Santa Rosa library and, 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 ask, put them. It, yeah. and ask them, okay. And if they can't get it through the Link Plus system, they can lend, the, I think they, I'm pretty sure they have interlibrary loan. But you can also get a, an Oakland Library card, and I'll um, uh, I'll take you to the current page just because it's easier for me to find. Okay. But um, you you just uh, you just get a library. You go here to get find the link to get a library card. Okay. Which is right up on top, um, and the current website you'll see get a library card. Mm -hmm. um, and then you, th this explains the whole thing, and it's in uh, multiple languages, Chinese, Spanish, Vietnamese, and English. And um, you can have a designated borrower, um, and you can uh, apply for your library card uh, by pushing okay. one of these buttons. Okay. And, um, yeah. And uh, so, and again... We, we have a new system that allows you to, to it, it not have to get a plastic card, but it'll give you a barcode that you can save on your phone and you can use it just like a library card when you come to the library. Oh, how does one do that? Uh, it, it, go to the get a library card site and you'll, it'll follow and you can follow follow through. Uh, it'll, it, it'll give you choices on how to do that. So Okay. Um, oh, I see. Uh, let me see. Um, there, uh, let me. I'm gonna search this. Uh, there's something we call the cloud library. Uh, let's see. You no, know, I'm not gonna waste your time here because I can't find it right now. But because I'm not at this website's all brand new. Oh, but there, okay. uh, the, 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 you can get a. Um, you are able to get a uh, uh, virtual library card um, through our website. The, the, uh, but you, but you also, if you fill out the registration form, you can just come and pick up your card at any branch and ah. and, 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 and and borrow at that time. Too. Okay. Oh, um, all right. But um, yeah, but. Uh, but basically, it's just all she has to do is to go onto the site and and apply for the card. Basically, that's it. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And All then right, she can come. Uh, um, she can come and get her card in Oakland, or she can put it on her phone. The, oh, the, the, okay. The barcode, but she'll still obviously okay. have to come to get the book. But the first okay. thing for her to do would be to try to see if she can get it directly through the Sonoma County Library because they're part of our system. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It looks um, like we have another question good. Um, from Jessica Brooks. Good. Um, Jessica, uh, can you please unmute yourself? Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I unmuted it. Uh, I, I visited the San Leandro Library. This was long before uh, COVID. Yeah. And I was told I couldn't get a card because they had passed a special initiative in San Leandro that only San Leandro residents could have a, a library card. Well, that's not exactly, well, yeah, that's true. So, uh, San Leandro is not part of the, the has not joined the system. Oh. Uh, so they're, they, uh, they require you pay if you live out of the city of San Leandro. We don't do that. And I, I, th there's only a couple uh, counties or jurisdictions in the state that that do that anymore. And um, uh, it, it, uh, uh, San Leandro needs to get it together, if you ask me, because it's totally ridiculous. So, but uh, so get an Oakland card instead. And then you don't need to use the San Leandro library. Well, I have an Oakland card and a yeah, birthday yeah. card and yeah. another one. But yeah, I, yeah. I. I was there and I thought, well, I'll get a San Leandro library yeah. card also. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I was told that uh, right. I have to live in San Leandro in order to 
exactly qualify for a library card. That's the only. Uh, that's the only city that uh, near here that I know of that uh, that allow that it requires that. So. Okay. Um, yeah. Great, and it looks like we have a question from Rosa. Rosa, go ahead and unmute yourself. I'm going to take this. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, and my question is, does the previous card still work or, or do I need to register again and get a new card? The bar no, if, you, if, you already had a, if, you, if you've ever had a library card in Oakland before, you probably won't have to get a new one. Uh, you, you, you won't have to register again. You, 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 if you can't find it, just come to the branch and we'll give you a new one. I, I do have it. Just wanted to make sure that it does work. It, yeah, if it, it, and if it doesn't work, it just means that we have to update it, that we just have to confirm that your, your current mailing address and all that kind of stuff. And, oh. um, and you can always just call us up and, and check and see if the, uh, we can look you up and see if you're still good. But um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be unless, of course, a uh, long time ago, uh, now I think, of, I forget when it was, but it's 2011 or something, to, uh, 2008, we, uh, we switched databases, uh, we, we changed our software, and at which time we purged people who hadn't used their card in like, I don't know, 20 years or something, uh, or they hadn't used their card since 2006. Uh, and they didn't have any fines or, 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 or they didn't owe us any money. Uh, so if you haven't used it since 2006, it might not be a, a valid. And I, that's just, as I forgot to mention too, that the library no longer has overdue fines. Uh, we uh, obviously, if you don't return something, we're gonna bill you for it, but we've also reduced our costs for the, the billing costs a lot. So. Um, but don't be afraid to get, and things are automatically renewed if they can be renewed. And even if they can't be renewed, you can, re, you can keep them for a while because you're not going to get fined for them. So. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. And Vicki, do you have a question? I recall going to the library, trying to get that book in that uh, box, that bin before I, uh, I had fines, it's been a long time. But my question is this, I saw something about disability. Is there a site that tells what disability programs are available to the disabled? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. we do have, um, um, yeah, there is, there is services for, the, for, for disabled. Um, we can, uh, uh, um, there's an extended services thing that we do. I'll, I can explain, I can sort of tell you what, what they are. Um, so you get, so you can keep things longer and uh, you can use our computers for a longer period of time. We also have, uh, for people who are vision impaired and hearing impaired, we have uh, some technology at the main library that allows people to read and, um, uh, and, Uh, blow, it blows things up and makes them bigger mm -hmm. and 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 it, 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 there's some read along stuff that'll allow you to read that's it, that you'll put some a document down and it'll read it to you um it, we, we also have a connection with the state library for for the library for the blind you can make we, we, we can make arrangements for the library for the blind and we're all we we, we have disability we're all all the branches are uh, accessible um and if you're interested in that, you should just call us up, and we can and we can help you connect you to get you registered as a, a extended services patron. Thank We're you. working on trying to get some kind of way to get materials to people's houses um, without having to come in. You know, physical materials. We just haven't finalized the pro the project yet. It's uh, the logistics are very complicated, much more complicated than when you might think. Um, but, uh, and, and uh, so that's coming, that should be coming soon too, but yeah. It's not the greatest, but you know, what can you do? And then it looks like we have one more question from Rosa. Yeah, hi Rosa. 
Rosa, you're on mute again, so go ahead and unmute. Uh, no, I already asked my question. I guess okay. I double click. Sorry about that. No problem. Good. Good. All right. So, um, Steve, I don't know if you have any last kind of things that you want to wrap up. I do want to know, um, can people access the new website now or will it just automatically roll over for them next week? Yeah, you can look at it now. Um, let me see how to do that. Uh, um, I, I should have known. I should have thought about that. Let me hold. Well, that's OK. And I'm going to send a follow up email. I've been taking notes on a few things that we've talked about. Yeah. And um, the things with links and email addresses and phone numbers. I'll be emailing this out to anyone who I have your email address. Um, and so I will send a follow up email with the um, links and um, uh, emails that we talked about today. And so I'm putting my stuff in the chat too, so that um, my contact information, if anybody wants to contact me, if anybody wants, thinks of some kind of a, uh, if they goes to the senior center or they go to some other group and they're interested in having some kind of presentation, either from me or from the Oakland History Room, History Center or something, or from our outreach librarian, um, please let me know because we love doing that kind of stuff. So, um, and uh, yeah, yeah. So. Can you hear me? Yes. yes, we can. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, do we have anything that uh, provides the Spanish for beginners on Zoom? Uh, the, we do have a, um, I, I, I don't think in Zoom, uh, let's see. We do have a, a, a database that uh, is, that allows you to learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. Um, so let me just find that, uh, it's, it's a foreign, it, it allows for foreign languages. Um, hold on. Uh, uh, it's called, Oh, and where did they where did they put it? If you want to take your time finding it, that's something I could also include in the follow up email. Yeah, let's do that. But um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, yeah, I, um, uh, yeah, no, it's 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 in our electronic resources, and it's um, um it's uh, it's it, it allows you to learn Spanish and a whole bunch of different languages, and I'm just having to go back to my old to the old one. So um, it's called language learning. Yeah, it's called. Um, and you can look it up in the in the calendar uh, in the catalog. It's called Pronunciator. Pronunciator. Yeah, and uh, let me just see the, uh, uh, as things develop, we do occasionally have Spanish. Uh, there, I know there there used to be a uh, Spanish language uh, learning group at the Temescal branch, but of course, all that all got shut down for the from the in the pandemic. So uh, I'm going to put the link there. You can, I'm going to put this link in there. So real, real quick, hold on. And so while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, we have, uh, I just want to make sure everyone has a chance to see some of our upcoming presentations. Yeah, good idea. Um, and so can everyone see my screen? Great. Yes. Yes. Um, and so this is um, some of our upcoming events. Um, I'll leave this up here for a little while. Feel free to take a picture of it. Feel free to write them down. Um, again, I will include these um, and the links to RSVP in the um, follow-up emails. 
Um, and so if you have, um, you know, feel free to spread the word. These presentations are open to the public. Um, we feel that, you know, it's something that's good to get this information out there. Um, I know I use the Oakland Library a lot. Um, and I used to always, when I was a teacher, I'd always take my students there. And so I am just fascinated all the time with all the different resources. If you haven't tried that Discover and Go, I highly recommend it. If you're interested at all in reading um, or using any of the e-library stuff, I highly recommend using Libby. Um, once you get into it, and um, it's pretty smooth and easy to use. Um, sorry, I was just trying to get the lights to come back on because they're on a timer and went off. Um, so I highly recommend all of the stuff from the Oakland Library as well as our upcoming presentations. So we have one tomorrow from um, the Lion Center for the Visually Impaired. They're doing um, a presentation on taking care of your eyesight. And then October 27th is Medicare and the annual enrollment period um, by HICAP. And so again, they're legal aid for assistance or for seniors. And so they're not as one specific organization, rather they're going to give us more information about what we can expect. Uh, the, uh, can, um, that's a, a lawyer program? Uh, so it's put on through legal assistance for oh, cool. seniors. Yeah, so it's through HICAP. Um, and they're in partner with legal aid for assistance. And so it's not just one organization, you know, trying to get you to join their insurance company, rather it's more of an overview. So that way you kind of get an unbiased information about it. Cool. Yeah, thank you for promoting the library. Yes, I, I love it. It is truly a treasure. And so as much as I can do, um, I'm hoping to have some of those specialized branches come on and talk that you were talking about. So I'll stay in connect, connection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I can work with you on that if you want. But great. Um, yeah, that'd be wonderful. And I promise to get back to you more uh, judiciously with your emails <laughs> than I did this last time. So anyway. Awesome. Well, if unless anyone has any other questions, yes. That is, oh, okay. Um, uh, I was wondering how do you make donations, book donations to the library? I have some African American books that are really. Well, one's really, really old, and and I would like to make a donation. Uh, uh, to the library. If, uh, if for for specific thing with things that are like that, you should. I would call the uh, the African American Museum and Library and see if they have any interest in accepting them. Okay. We're not currently taking donations, uh, mm -hmm. uh, except at our bookstore, which is uh, the um, Bookmark Bookstore downtown, which sells books um, for us to raise money. Uh, oh, we yes. just don't have, we, we're just not, uh, uh, we'll take individual things if we can add them to the collection, but right now we just can't, we don't have, we can't really manage. Yeah, it's just one. It's just one book that I think they might want. Well, then I would contact the African American Museum and Library okay. and ask them if they would be interested in it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you everyone for showing up today and for your participation. We really appreciate it. I will send up, send out a follow-up email. Um, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to stick around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.